Okay. Wow, okay, you can edit in the game. That is really cool. Hey everybody, I am checking out the new Unreal Engine Fortnite editor for the first time. Uh, disclaimer here, I am not a Fortnite fan. I've played the game maybe twice in its entire existence. Don't really know what to expect. I know it's, uh, or at least from what I've seen, it looks like you can build levels and then import them into Fortnite. So I think that's really cool. It reminds me a lot of Halo Forge. So, um, so yeah, uh, let's uh, just uh, take a look around here. A lot of folders here. The names are interesting. I like that they have gray box assets. I think this is great because this is kind of how you would block out a level if you were designing a level for a game. And so I really like that they have these types of assets in here. Do they snap? Okay, yeah, because they're blueprints. So they've programmed them in a way where they're snapping to each other. That's really cool. Yeah, I really like this because I think if, if you're someone who's interested in level design, and you're a fan of Fortnite, this is huge because this is using methods or assets similar to what you would use if you worked on your own game or in a game studio. Yeah, the snapping is pretty responsive on these blueprints. That makes level building a lot faster because you're not having to place everything precisely. I'm curious if we can dive into the blueprint, like actually open it up and, and see how it's coded. Let me try to click into one. Let's see, alias asset is read only. Uh, I, I wonder if I can uh, make it like a child blueprint and maybe access the event graph that way. Okay, I don't see a tab for the event graph. So it looks like this is truly just read only. That's a little bit of a bummer. I was curious just to, you know, dive into the code and kind of see how it works. But um, let's play some weapons out here. These look like blueprints too, so I'm, I'm assuming they're functional in the game. I want to find some like props and stuff. Here we go. Just throw these bad boys in here. This is awesome because you could just build like a really like, you know, interesting level quickly, especially if you don't know anything about level design. I mean, it's just literally dragging and dropping things in here. So I love this. I think this is great for people who are brand new to Unreal Engine and fans of Fortnite. I mean, you don't even really have to be a fan of Fortnite. This is very similar to um, the workflow in Unreal Engine, just kind of like a stripped down version with uh, minimal functionality. I wonder if you could change, I'm assuming you could change like the size of these assets and everything. Oh, you know what would be cool? Have like gigantic furniture. You could uh, make some sort of level where you're, you know, you've been shrunk and you're in a house or something. I wonder how the collisions are gonna be uh, in game with these. Like, I wonder if I'll be able to walk underneath the bed because sometimes when you increase static meshes by such a large number, the collisions get kind of messy depending on how they've been made. Okay, let's save and let's see if I can actually uh, play this. So I'm gonna go to launch session. Okay, it's connecting. Okay, so we are in here, awesome. Yes, this is the, uh, this is the level I made. Collisions appear to be good. Oh, are these destructible? Awesome, and I can go under the bed. Okay, this is good. I was worried about that. I was like, I wonder if it's gonna block me from going under the bed. I don't know if these are taking any damage or not. Let's go pick up a weapon. What is this? Burst launcher? Okay, so that has a health bar. I wonder if... Okay. <laughs> okay. I see you. That is cool. That is cool. Now, I wonder if you can turn that off. Because I don't think you would want that for every single element in your level to be destructible. Or maybe you would, I don't know. It would be cool if you could um, customize that in a way. I do like how on the map it shows... I, I'm really curious how they're making that the map. The little... Uh, because it has everything. Now the bed's gone, but it's still showing on the map. It must be taking a snapshot and then doing some like calculation in the background because it's it's obviously not using a camera one that would be super expensive and two um it's still showing the bed even though the bed's been destroyed all right let's end the game here let's throw something in here and then see how quickly it takes 
uh, to see our changes. Just throw a toilet in there, save that. I'm actually gonna check before I start the game just to see if it if it worked. What? Okay. I don't even have to start the game. Okay, so this this is like some sort of edit mode because I've got this new UI now where I can double tap to fly. Okay, so let's let's put a little bit uh let's put some more stuff in here. Throw some cars. There's the teddy bear, so we know they're in the game. It's a little bit laggy. It's probably only gonna last a a few seconds, I would think. Okay, so now we're we're flying. These cars just appear to be meshes. This is cool. You can change the flight speed. I wonder what the purpose of this is. So edit mode. Does that mean you can edit in the game? Okay, whoa, what happened? Okay. Wow, okay, you can edit in the game. That is really cool. That might be more comfortable for people who are not familiar with Unreal Engine. Wow, you can do a lot of different things just in the game. So maybe like throw in some assets that you want to use and then in the game, you know, use your character to build with them. I am impressed. I really am. Like, I didn't know what to expect from this. I love this because like, I know that Fortnite is kind of for a younger audience. And I think that exposing a younger audience to uh, level design techniques and just, just you know, use their creativity a bit more. Like, I, I think that's awesome. And, and I think that this could spark, you know, some, some kids really getting involved in the game industry. So I'm all for this. I think this is great. Will I use this? Probably not. Uh, but that's mostly because, um, well, obviously it's limitations uh, compared to just the, the full-fledged version of Unreal Engine. But I also, like I said, I don't play Fortnite. I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know. We'll see how this video does. This is kind of a, a one-off. I just wanted to try it out. A lot of people are trying it out. So I just wanted to kind of give give it a shot and, and, and see what I thought. Um, but you know, I don't want to get caught because I ain't no bot. <laughs> that was, all right, I don't know where that came from. Anyway, um, if you guys did enjoy this type of video uh, or you enjoyed um, seeing this Unreal Engine Fortnite editor and you want some more videos around this, let me know um, and we'll see You know, if, if it gets a lot of uh, feedback or a lot of people requesting it. Maybe I'll do another video or two. Anyway, I, I, give, this, uh, I give this a thumbs up. A five, well, I'll give it a gold star. Let's let's do that. Let's I'll give it a gold star. And um, if you haven't tried this out, it's free. Um, it's not a huge download. And uh, yeah, go give it a shot, especially if you're a fan of Fortnite and Unreal Engine. All right, cool. Well, thanks everybody for watching this video. If you like indie dev and Unreal Engine content, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for checking out my channel, and I'll catch you later.